Hello, I am Sharad. I am working as a biology teacher in AKMHS Scotland. So we are going to study the subject basic science. You all are aware about basic science because you already studied the basic things in your sixth class, seventh standard, right? So today we are going to start our eighth standard basic science, and here, but it is divided into three different subjects: that is, biology, physics, and chemistry. Today I am going to teach you biology. Life mysteries in little chambers. That is our first chapter. Mysteries are secrets, right? So here we are going to study about the secrets of life, and these secrets are present in some little chambers. What is this little chamber? After studying this chapter, you can understand what is this little chamber. You all are familiar with microscope, right? Why we are using a microscope? Yes, microscope is used to magnify objects, and this microscope uses convex lens. What are the different parts of this microscope? Now we are going to study about the different parts and the functions of each of these parts. So a microscope basically has six different parts. The first one is eyepiece. The second one is knob. Third one is objective lens. Fourth one is stage and clips. Fifth one is condenser, and finally the sixth one that is mirror. Now I am going to introduce a light microscope and its different parts. Please look into this video. This is a light microscope because it works by using light. And now we are going to study about the different parts of this microscope. Before that, which type of lens is used in a microscope? Do you know that? Yes, that is convex lens, right? Okay. So the microscope basically has in six different parts. The first one is eyepiece. This portion is known as the eyepiece. Can you see this? And the second portion is this one is known as the no. This is known as the objective lens. This is the stage, and this one is clip. Here you can see the condenser. And finally, the most important part of a microscope, that is the mirror. So these are the basic parts of a microscope. And this microscope works by using light. So it is known as a light microscope. And how we will place our object in a microscope? That is by using a slide. This is a slide, and we use to keep our object over this slide. And this slide is normally made by using the glass. We are not using any iron bar or wooden bar for making this slide. Normally, we are using the glass. Why we are using this glass? Now we are going to do the first activity. That is, label the different parts of the microscope. So please copy this picture into your notebook and label the different parts of the microscope. Convex lens is present in a microscope, and this convex lens is present in eyepiece, objective lens, and condenser. Presently, we are studying about the light microscope. So, light microscope means it works by using light. So, a mirror is used in a microscope to reflect the light, and two types of mirrors are present. One is the plane mirror, and another one is the concave mirror. Plane mirror reflects the sunlight, and the concave mirror reflects the artificial light. You can see some writings on this uh, eyepiece objective lens, like 10x, 45x, right? What is this 10x, 45x? That is the magnification power of the microscope. Magnification power is the power of the microscope obtained. By multiplying the numbers written on the objective lens and the eyepiece. Let's do the second activity. Write on this question. Name the parts where lenses are fixed in a microscope. Please do the third activity. Write on the two indicators. You have to find out the answers for the first and second question. 
Now we are going to study two new terms that is simple microscope and compound microscope. What is the difference between the simple microscope and compound microscope? As the name indicates itself, simple microscope is very simple. That means it uses only one lens, but compound microscope uses many lenses. So the magnification power of the compound microscope is higher compared to the simple microscope. Today we studied about microscope, its parts and functions, right? Then after that we studied about simple microscope and compound microscope. So please do all the three activities. That's all about today's class. Hope you all understood today's topics. Thank you so much.